Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. I really hate doing videos like this. Why? I because I don't like to think about I this. Know. But everybody kind of needs to be prepared, it has to right? Be sad. It has to be sad. So I guess we should get to today's video, which, which is, is the top twelve things that could ruin your cruise. So, as we said, it's kind of a sad topic to think about, but you know what? It's an important topic because if you learn from this, your cruise will not be ruined. And we're going to go through these top 12, one by one, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to tell you all what those are, and in between, we're going to talk about why it will ruin your cruise. Absolutely. Everyone needs to know the skinny, the dirt. <laughs> you're, you're learning it here first. Getting it all deep in, you know, get your hands dirty. So, starting us off will be, you didn't read your cruise contract. Oh, absolutely. You know, there's lots of fine print on those there's cruise contracts. a lot of fine print on your cruise con contract that relates to important things like the proper travel documents right. you're going to need to board, uh, and then depending on exactly where you're going. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just want to veer off the road a little bit with this topic about travel documents to start us off. I am sick to death of people know. asking me, do I need a passport? I know. Do you know that you can get a passport for about $120, $120, $140, right? And it's good for 10 years. Yep. I want you to think about that. 10 years. Now, I had a cruiser that's been on five cruises over the last three years that emailed me and asked me, <laughs> does he need a passport? I've got to tell you, 10 years divided by, let's say, $140, that's 14 bucks yes. a year. $14 a year. So, uh, the key to... Passports are, they're what? They are the ultimate. 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 ultimate no cookie mints involved. <laughs> the ultimate, ultimate ID. Identification. Yeah. If you are on the cruise, the cruise line may not uh, require you to have right. a passport right. they may for not. your specific sailing. Right. However, if you miss the ship, how are you flying home? You're not, people. You're going to have to seek out the consulate. And you are going to have to end up paying for that passport that you should have had in the first place. Right. Just so that you can get home I know. or to the Why next port. Why worry about... And it might take... Yeah, right. It might take a days. I mean, in one instance, I know one of our subscribers did not follow our advice and get the passport. And they missed uh, the ship in... Uh, I want to say Antigua. Okay. Huh. And they weren't able to fly home. They had to wait there. No, maybe it wasn't Antigua. Oh, well, I can't wherever. Remember. It wherever. was someplace. They, oh, you know where it was? It was Cozumel. Okay. I don't know why I said Antigua. Cozumel, Mexico. They weren't able to fly home. They had to go to the consulate. Mm -hmm. They had to pay uh, the $140 or 120 whatever it was at the time for the passport. Mm -hmm. They had to pay for each for each of them. <laughs> They also had to pay a $75 rush fee for each of them. And they weren't able to do it that day because the consulate, uh, whatever, the business center was closed. So they had to wait over the weekend and pay for a hotel. Right. I was going to say, blah, 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 and blah, where blah. were they waiting? Because there's hotel right. and there's food involved and you right. got to eat and have a place to stay all because you didn't invest it. $14 a year. I know. It's, it's, it's just, just kind of crazy. Nuts and you know, we're me. all, we're, we're both of us are proponents of getting a passport. I use my passport locally, which well, yes. I don't think a lot of people yes, think of. when you go to the bank. When I go to the bank, I take the passport because very, you know, these banks are getting very picky uni. Yes. Uh, and so when I concerned. go to pay, just when I go to pay, 
pay a bill. Mm -hmm. They want to see my driver's license and a credit card and uh, another you know, ID, another a second ID, ID a and third ID. I just simply whip out that passport, and they're like, "Oh, thanks. We don't need anything right. else. We just need the passport." Right. Uh, so I'm off that now. Now, um, <laughs> some other things that are in your cruise contract that you probably haven't read because right. most people don't right. is um, pregnancy. So right. if you're pregnant, Frank, well, <laughs> then miracles might happen. You <laughs> there sure are that's one of them. certain periods where you <laughs> yeah. cannot sail. Right. Right. You cannot be too far along in your pregnancy mm -hmm. uh, to travel uh, on, 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 a, on a ship. Uh, if you're too far along, that will be at the time of sailing. Yeah, you won't be. And if you think you're going to hide it, mm -hmm. and God forbid something happens, and you go into distress or whatever. They won't let you on. Uh, it's it's going to be a problem. So you need to know what the pregnancy rules are in the fine print. You also need to know if you are mobility challenged mm -hmm. about tendering right. and what ports they will be tendering into because chances are you won't be able to right. get off that ship. I don't care what the representative on the phone said Do, because I keep hearing it over and over again. It's a lot of bull. It's baloney. Yes. Listen to us, okay? If you are tendering into a port and you are in a wheelchair, you are not going to be allowed to tender unless it is a double-decker tender right. where they can roll right. you on. So 99, sorry, but 99% of the time, if it's a tender port, you are not going to be able uh, to get off. And I know that we're going to get comments on this video saying, I, was able, I blah, did blah, blah, it. Blah, like, blah, blah. But the, uh, the tender boats they they use are you are normally the lifeboats. are the lifeboats and normally and again in most cases but not all so save the hate mail um you're going to have to be able to walk down 12 to 15 mm -hmm. stairs down to a moving tender boat now are you, how are you going to do that in a wheelchair i'll tell you celebrity i'm very thankful and impressed at celebrity celebrity and their newer ships mm -hmm. uh, now have a moving platform yeah, that's really cool and it's really neat yep. and it's making everybody able to tender right which is awesome but you also need to familiarize yourself with the cancellation policies absolutely um uh, cancellations of ports cancellations because of mm -hmm. political unrest uh, uh weather hurricanes or whatever that maybe is diverting uh people get all upset i want all my money back well it's not going to happen you didn't read the cruise contract right moving on to another thing that could possibly ruin your cruise no. is cruising in the wrong season right, that's so true i mean um you know the caribbean is pretty much warm all the time right but people don't think about uh the fact that uh hurricane season can yes. affect right. the weather in the caribbean um and not so much in the caribbean but getting there and getting back right. you could have rough seas Absolutely. Um, weather in Alaska, you know, right. when's when, a good time? Once, Why are you going there, right? right well, exactly. Now, if you're going to Alaska because you are just so hopped up on whale watching mm -hmm. and, and bird watching and you want to see the seals and the whales and the eagles and the wildlife and you want it to be nice weather, uh, you need to check out the best time to go to Alaska, which is... Uh, <laughs> I know. He's I like, just gave him a dirty look. I know. He's like, we stop had, banging the table. <laughs> we had a conversation before we started filming, guys. I'm sorry. Let's just let him in on the little secret. I told him if he bangs the table one time during the filming of this video, I am going to stop and we are going to start over. That's why I looked down and went, why are you banging on the table? They'll enjoy their little I part. Um, but also, the, not also. Not just Alaska and the Caribbean. There's also other things oh, like absolutely. Uh, Hawaii has a rainy season. Right. Um, uh, I when think to go Hawaii, to Europe? When to go when, to Europe? When's the best time to go to Europe? Do you want to go uh, during high season, right. or do you want to go on uh, off, off season? season? Yeah, not dead season, but slightly a little off where there's lesser crowds, but it's still enjoyable. School vacations. Right, absolutely. And when I say school vacations, everybody has to be aware that not everybody's on vacation yeah. at the same time. So when we're on vacation in the Northeast, uh, you know, um, 
other parts of the country aren't right. on school vacation. So usually what we found is there's usually about three weeks, a three-week period right. where schools are out. Right. I just read a comment on Facebook. Uh, somebody just got off the uh, NCL Joy and said, never again, never again. Uh, it was this past week during Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and they said, never again, never again. No one told me there would be 1,200 screaming children on board. <laughs> Live and learn. Uh, yeah. Holiday time. Been schools there. out. Whatever. Done that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that might, in this case, for this poor cruiser, ruin it a bit. Uh, next on the list is a bad travel companion. That's right. right. And Sorry, I'm, Frank. I'm not going with you next time. <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God. I have never had that problem. I have always traveled oh. with uh, my, my best friend, who was my best man, uh, uh, Kevin Campbell, uh, and we have always been good travel cruise buddies or hotel mates or whatever, uh, and then I traded him in, uh, and I got another Kevin kind of on a permanent basis. <laughs> and so far we seem to be somewhat doing okay traveling. <laughs> But yeah, know, know who you're going to be in that room with. It's, it's close right. quarters. I, I'm always amazed at the amount of emails and messages we get about, can you help me find somebody to travel with? I would never do that. How, I just, uh, there's no way. I, I how, never, what would we recommend? I never wanted a roommate to live with. I never wanted to share a house. I've never, you know... I Am I leaving? I'm not good sharer. <laughs> He's not. He doesn't share well with other children. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you really need to know who your traveling companion is, and you might have wanted to test the waters mm -hmm. in the beginning uh, for maybe a weekend trip. <clears throat> uh, so you see mm -hmm. how you do in a hotel room, uh, eating habits or whatever, uh, before you get into a a cruise where you're trapped on a ship in, in, mm -hmm. in an inside cabin with somebody you absolutely hate and wish you could kill and throw overboard. Coming in at number four is you don't have your travel documents. Now, how could you not have your travel documents? You know, I have nightmares about this, and I swear, I swear every time we leave this house, and we get in that car, I am still unzipping my tote. Yeah, I do that too. I am pulling my travel binder out. I am opening up to the section called cruise, and I'm staring at the cruise ticket. So I have, to, I have to tell so you guys paranoid. that we have clear and concise roles when we're traveling. <laughs> I am responsible for things like the electronics, the plane tickets, the passports, the money. The uh, wallets. The wallets, okay? Frank is responsible for um, himself. Uh, itinerary. Itinerary. Uh, where, I, where I know where we're going. I, it's time management. I know mm -hmm. where. I know when. I've got the binder. I know, you know, that's my thing. And I've, I've learned, got the paperwork. I have learned, don't ask questions. He said, it's time to eat. We're going to eat. This is what he it is. He said, it's time to go to the gate. We're going to the gate. That's right. But... Uh, just like Frank <laughs> checks a million times to see that those cruise documents are there, I check a million times to see. Even before we leave the house, I'm checking that uh, the passports. passports. Right. I'm the checking wall the wallets. I'm checking cell Because I want to make sure they're right. right. Uh, we're in we're in the car service ground link when it picks us up at, and the, I'm at the airport. Right, and we're driving to the port. This is it. We're driving to the port, and we I'm, don't even talk to each right, other because we're busy I'm looking. I'm still unzipping the tote and looking at the cruise ticket paperwork. So <laughs> we have to. We want you to make sure your travel documents are supposed to be on your body, yes, on your person. They are not supposed to be in your check luggage. Right. They are not supposed to be sitting at home on your counter. Yes. Uh, they are not supposed to be the travel documents for your last cruise, if you save them. Right. You want to make sure they're the current right. travel documents. And next on our list is something that I almost was accused of on the NCL Escape, and that would be skipping the muster drill. Right. You're going to ruin your cruise if... The, the cruise ship uh, crew has to come track you down <laughs> like a dog. Now, <laughs> I wanted to go to guest services and say, we're not going to that drill. It's crazy, and we can't get there. Just sign us up for the makeup drill. 
Because they're supposed to have a makeup trial. Well, yeah, because inevitably there will be issues and people will have missed for whatever reason. Uh, but if you think you're going to just, I'm not going. I just, find got, you. I just got in my cabin. Um, I'm just going to have a drink. Uh, sorry, but the bars are closed. Mm -hmm. Everything shuts down during muster. You will not be able to be anywhere other than muster drill. And if you think you're going to get out of it, you're not. Don't start your cruise off with a problem and then some people you know may have an attitude and get belligerent mm -hmm. and start a fight about it the old you can't tell me what to do and bs speaking of that that brings us to the next one uh -oh. on our list which is you should not be acting inappropriate or unsafe and what would that entail in terms of inappropriate behavior oh well <laughs> um it could be uh being belligerent or overly indulging in the liquor you mean you're drunk you're drunk oh. you could be fighting and that usually you're fighting usually because well, you're fighting drunk. because you're drunk <laughs> or, you know what or fighting like like husband and wife fighting like mm -hmm. argument fighting like mm -hmm. you know who's looking at somebody else they shouldn't be looking at or uh, well, who's spending money they shouldn't have spent that money or whatever kind of husband and wife wife and wife husband and husband kind of thing might have <laughs> and, started an argument and speaking of being unsafe and going to that aspect of it um, climbing on the rails, uh, bending over, trying to get in the lifeboat when you're when they're up there because oh, you know they're up high yeah. or maybe climbing it. You shouldn't be going to places you, you should, shouldn't be. Right. Period. Don't try to sneak into the crew quarters. And that brings up the the <laughs> thing about climbing on the rail. Yeah, the rail. About that well, lady. That's a dangerous thing. Was that, it a lady? It was. She's an idiot. Climbing over the rails, hanging off the side of the ship to take a selfie. We'll get you banned for life. <laughs> well, that was, we don't know if it will on other lines. That the was on boy, Royal Caribbean. Yeah, but that's just cuckoo crazy. I mean, aren't you worried about dying? What, is that, I mean, a selfie, is that w worth the, risking your life over? And you know, our seventh on our list could be linked also to number six, which yeah, was the in inappropriate. inappropriate. Um, but number seven is smoking in your cabin. Right. Or on your balcony. Right. Because your balcony is considered part of your cabin. It is illegal to do that now um, on all vessels. Uh, and that includes cigarettes. Right. It includes weed. It includes meth. <laughs> I don't know who would be doing <laughs> you know, that. But, drugs. But it includes vaping. Yes, yes. But smuggling drugs on board, using drugs... Um, and it's funny, you talk, talk about smoking. Again, I saw another posting on Facebook about the NCL Joy. Somebody posted, and the, again, the caption was, don't ever go on this ship if you're a smoker like I am. No, that was the Encore. Well, was it the Encore, not it's the, the Joy? the Encore. The Encore now has a small, um, that was in Cruise Chap. Oh, okay. It was an outside and it's little... Out, but it's enclosed. Yes. But it's a very small little it's, area for smokers. He said it was 40 foot long, like a 40 foot long and maybe 20 foot wide room mm -hmm. uh, enclosed. And I think it's enclosed. It looked like it was enclosed. It might it might have been all open with like Glass. scrolling. Yeah. Um, and uh, that was yeah. the designated smoking area. That was that. Very unhappy. And they were upset. Well, at least they have a smoking area. Right. Uh, so. But again, fire is the absolute worst thing that could happen on board a cruise ship. And um, so you have to limit and say, well, actually, there's no smoking on a cruise ship at all. However, we have designated the smoking area for those of you that need to partake. So, you know. And I think, <laughs> I think number eight is probably my biggest fear when we're cruising. Oh. And I think that it would be the only thing that would ruin our cruise like yes. completely ruin our oh, cruise yeah. and that is forgetting what time you're supposed to yeah. be on the ship uh when you're visiting a port right. or that you're late and and you have to set your watch your time to ship time right ship time not port time not what time it is in cozumel or whatever wherever you are it's ship time and this usually they have signs up and you don't look at your phone everybody keeps saying stop. well my phone stop no, with blah, blah, the blah. cell phone stop with your cell phone don't worry about your cell phone go out get yourself a watch a real watch not an eye watch 
<laughs> okay, because I keep getting that. I have an iWatch. I have a watch. It's fine. Uh, your iWatch is set with your cell phone. Your self, it's not going to work. It might work, but we don't operate our lives in might. We, right. we operate our lives in concrete fact, and the fact is an analog clock, or a digital, right. I guess, um, uh, is the best form of defense for not being late right. because there are many ports we've been to, right, right. where it's been an hour different or two hours right. different. Right. Uh, the ship time from and the port time. And it's not like the ship doesn't tell you. They will tell you in the daily newsletter and for that day. And they make multiple announcements. Multiple announcements. Signs are posted on the throughout on your way to the gangway to get off. That the ship, you need to be back on board this time because the ship will be leaving port at this time. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're again, if you're somebody who would be <clears throat> late for your own funeral, um, you really need to watch the time, or you're going to be one of those peer runners that are going to go ah, as the ship is pulling away because they have to maintain a, a, a schedule on leaving and arriving. Coming in at number nine is you don't supervise your children. Mm. Uh, now I have to, I'm going to tell them all how this ruined my cruise. <laughs> and that was, I, what were we on? Were we on the Valor? I, I we were on a Carnival cruise ship. I'm not sure which one it was. Well, the last one we were was the Valor in 2016. I'm so. not sure if it was that one or the, or the Conquest. Conquest. Uh, I know it wasn't when we were okay. with the girls. But anyways, uh, I was by the pool. Uh, and I heard, you know, there were some kids playing in the pool. And I heard a woman get up and then say to <laughs> what I am guessing is maybe a seven-year-old. Right, it was seven to eight year old, seven, eight, nine year old. Uh, uh, mommy's gonna go to the buffet. This nice guy's gonna watch you. You stay here, and he's in the pool. <laughs> and she goes toddling off, and I, of course, was like, "Huh? <laughs> what? What? You're, you're leaving your child alone, and alone with strangers. Your child is not their child." And you and we have read many postings and articles about children drowning right there right. in the pool in front of everybody. Right. And people now, just not noticing. Uh, what I ended up doing, which I normally... So I hope that ham sandwich was worth it. I normally won't um, discipline a child because it's not my place. Uh, but I will give him dirty looks. Um, but I told him to get his little butt out of that pool, and I took his hand, and I said, you're going to tell me which one's your mother. And I walked him right into the buffet and said, you forgot this. Uh, <laughs> like and, you forgot your purse. <laughs> and she was really upset. How dare you? She was really upset. I left my child. <laughs> right. You couldn't just watch him for a few minutes? Well, first of all, honey, if you're watching, uh, I am not your babysitter. I paid for the cruise just like you did. And I am not going to be responsible nor sued if your Another child lives drowns. or dies. I know. We, you can't put that on other right. cruisers. I mean, even the cruises themselves, the cruise lines themselves, they do not generally That's have right. um, lifeguards on right. duty. And it's posted all over the place. No lifeguard it on just, duty. You swim at your own risk. It just makes you wonder what goes on in their home. I know. Well, that's I kind, know. Of it's kind of frightening. But, you know, we do speak up. You know, when it, does, when it affects us... If it's a or, child, if, we, or, we speak or if up. it affects the safety of a child. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Or whether we're shopping, we're in one of the uh, ship stores shopping. We had the, the group of ratty little kids Ugh. that went into the, the cruise store, you know, where they sell all the T-shirts and whatever, and they were just t picking stuff up and throwing it and throwing it, and then they were badgering the crew members who worked there. What are you doing? Tell me about this. They were deliberately being provocative and like, like, like the crew members were their slaves and then laughing as they were throwing crap. And you know the crew members, they don't say anything. They just bend over, pick the stuff off the floor, refold it, put it down. And they were like just wreaking havoc. And that's just, that's just crazy. And we will speak up. Or the kids mm -hmm. that push every button on the elevator. Not when we're in the elevator. Smack yeah. Them. Not that we're anti-kid, we're not. But supervise them. Moving on to number ten, we've talked about it before, but.
but it will ruin your cruise when you get home. And that oh, no. is forgetting to put your cell phone in airplane mode. It's very simple. Roaming. <laughs> yep, you're going to get all those roaming charges, or uh, m maybe maybe they haven't watched any of our other videos and they don't know. But um, you know oh, your Lord. your cell phone tower on uh, the cruise ship is connected to another country, so you are dialing out or getting a call in or texting out or getting a text in from a foreign country. So <laughs> it's. Not that because you know when we say roaming, a lot of people are going to say, "Oh, I have free roaming." Blah blah blah. No, you don't. Not on a cruise ship. Not if you're in Europe, you don't have free roaming. So if you thought you that cruise was all paid for, you might get home and find a big old bill waiting for you. Someone actually, I saw in one of the um, um, one of the groups. I don't know if it was on Facebook or if it was one of the forums for Cruise Critic that I'm in, but somebody actually posted a picture of their $4,000 bill oh, that they yes. got because yeah. they didn't put their phone in airplane yeah. mode. They have a really shitty plan to begin with. Ooh, I'm, I said <laughs> shitty. Quarter to the jar. <laughs> um, and, uh, and so it was never turned off. It was always in roaming, and they were playing games. Oh. And games oh. use data sometimes, and yeah. people don't even realize yeah. that. And so, huge bill. Yeah. It cost them more for their cell phone bill than it did for <laughs> the cruise. cruise. How awful. Coming, oh, I would cry. Coming in at number 11 is unaware of the tipping process right. can ruin your right. cruise. Right. People complaining and saying, I spent more money than I should have with tipping for this and tipping for that and leaving money for the cabin steward and every day and leaving money. The bar is like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, you do know that... You're generally you're charged a gratuity fee per person every day automatically. What? Well, and and you know, also, it and I know people budget for this. Like yeah, Dave yes. and Darlene budget for it. They they're very good to their bartenders, and they always tip. Right. But in my opinion, I never tip the bartender unless. He's given me a really good Cosmo, or um, you know, I might tip him five right. bucks once right. because every time you're buying a drink, they're getting a 15% gratuity. Right. It's added to your bill. Right. It's added to your so bill. It's added you, to your bill. So the point of this is, is to start with knowledge, which is to know all about that. To know you will be charged a daily gratuity mm -hmm. per person. To know that when you buy that drink at the bar, there is an automatic gratuity added. To know that um, you go... To know to, that you go to the spa. The They're going to charge you 15, 20% extra. Specialty uh, dinner. Uh, even when you, when you bought the... Pay, when you get the free, uh, free dining, you're paying gratuity on the right. free dining. Right. So as a base of knowledge, know that... And then you can go up if you want to give right. more money, right? right? Like to, to the cabin steward. Right. We do. We give money to the cabin give, steward. They the do a great steward. job. And we're big proponents of, uh, we, we do enjoy tipping. We do think it's a nice thing that you can do um, for yourself because it's always nice to give and right. for the person receiving. Right. But we do it through a little thank you card every once in a while. Someone goes over and above. Uh, you know, right. we'll, so we'll if you tip. don't know what the base information is regarding gratuities and tips that you're being charged, you may have gone through the entire cruise just dishing out and be like, I just can't afford to go on another cruise. This just cost me so much more money. And people are like, but you were already charged for that. And you might not have known. So you didn't have to get what you thought was required to give. You kind of double tipped. And the final thing that will ruin your cruise, it'll be the straw that broke <gasps> the camel's back. Not the camel. Not the camel. Oh, my gosh. I know. Why is that poor camel poor always camel. getting the broken back? I don't know. But that would be you pack every piece of clothing you own <laughs> and put it in your luggage and you put it outside your door to be picked up the night before disembarkation day. Right. What are you doing, people?
Are you going to go home buck naked? I know. Like you've cleared out the closet. You've cleared out the drawer. You're like, I got to pack. I got to pack. 11 o'clock. This luggage has got to be outside in the hallway. And you're like, okay. So and you're like, oh my God, I'm in my pajamas. Maybe you are. Maybe you're wearing nothing. We're not here to judge. But don't put all your clothes in your luggage and then you wake up in the morning in your pajamas, you know, t-shirt and underwear or nothing or whatever, you've got no clothes to put on to get off the ship. To get off the ship, to get to the airport, you got nothing We've but their it. bathrobe or your pajamas and slippers. We've on seen a, it. On a few cruises we've seen this. We've <laughs> seen uh, people leaving the cruise ship in their pajamas, <laughs> totally embarrassed. I have seen um, when we went down to pay our bill when we had a little bit extra that we weren't sure about. Mm -hmm. There was somebody in their pajamas in the store trying to buy clothes, uh, <laughs> which will cost you a fortune. fortune. I, I remember on that ship it was like fifty, sixty, five, seventy-five dollars for a t-shirt. Right, yeah. So it's like, wow, that was an expensive it souvenir. Sure was. And again, that's um, something I'm paranoid. If we're done packing, I make sure I'm looking in that closet and I'm like, I, I want shoes, socks, you're pounding again. Un oh, sorry. Underwear, <laughs> pants, shirts, jackets, whatever. I see our clothes for the next day. And frankly, I don't care if I have socks or underwear. I just want <laughs> at least right. pants and a shirt. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know? Because we usually, uh, whatever we wear at nighttime, because, you know, I mean, we don't, you know, we're not like we're traditional pajama people who wears really pajamas, but whatever we wear, like a t-shirt, pajamas, shorts, or a pajama bottom, we roll up. It goes in our backpack and tote bag. That's where it goes because the luggage is gone. Mm -hmm. So, gosh, don't get caught naked. Uh, and if you don't want to get caught naked on a cruise, you could always buy a Cruising with Wheels t-shirt. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> we now have merch available. It'll be uh, displayed in what they call a shelf right underneath this video but if you don't see that because you're watching us on a different platform like facebook right snapchat instagram right. twitter wherever you if might you're watching, be watching us it. on youtube you're gonna see an assortment mm -hmm. and don't forget to click that right arrow which will take you to the next group of merchandise in the next group it's not just what you see in front of you there's lots of stuff to buy but they my point was this if they're not watching us on youtube they can yep. go to the directly to Direct. teespring that's right i will make sure to start linking that in the description below but maybe oh. I'll add a little thing right here that'll I say know. you know teespring.com slash <laughs> store slash cruising with wheels <laughs> and uh, we want to thank everybody who's uh, purchased some yes yeah, so many people when we uh, finally got that store up and running up and running a long time and coming um, boom 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 uh, we were seeing that people were ordering tank tops and t-shirts and coffee bugs and did tote I, bags. Did I tell you somebody um, bought... And posting pictures of them. Did I tell you that somebody bought uh, um, a, a hoodie? We have no. hoodies now. Yes, we have hoodie. hoodies now for those cold weather Alaskan That's cruises right. or New England or just a chilly Caribbean I night. Know. So yes, we, uh, we keep designing uh, different uh, t-shirts so slowly but surely we'll be adding new designs. So check back often. Absolutely. We want to thank you for joining us today and we want to make sure that your cruise does not get ruined. Mm -hmm. But until next time we want to remind everybody to always travel safe and cruise often. Mm -hmm.